Hello everyone, welcome to True Crime and Tarot. I am Natalie and the case that I am doing today is based on Laverda Sorrel. So Laverda Sorrel was born on November the 26th, 1957 and she has black hair, brown eyes, her height at the time of her disappearance was 5 foot 1 and she was weighing 110 pounds and she also is a Native American woman. The FBI is offering a reward of up to $10,000 for the information that is leading to the identity, the arrest and conviction of the person or the persons that is responsible for the disappearance of Laverda Sorrell. Laverda wears glasses and she previously resided in the Navajo in New Mexico. The FBI of Albuquerque Field Office is asking for the public's assistance in determining the whereabouts of Laverda. Laverda's husband had reported his wife had been missing since July the 4th, 2002, and this is when he had dropped her off at the office in Fort Defiance in Arizona. A family member then reported her missing to the Navajo Police, the Window Rock District, on July the 8th, 2002. If anyone has any information um, regarding this case or the disappearance of Laverda, then they are to contact the FBI at 505-889-1300. That is what I could find out on this case so far. Um, that is the research I could find. So this is where I came into it and decided to do a tarot card reading on this case. And there is four specific questions I had asked. Number one, what happened to Laverda? Two, who's involved in her disappearance? Three, where is Laverda? And four, what is the final outcome to be for her case? So what happened to Laverda Sorrell? So there is the judgment card that came out. So there was an argument and someone that had judged her and there was a lot of heated words that were said. King of Pentacles, there was a wealthy male that was a businessman um, that was very thriving at what he was doing. He was a very hard working man and he is a provider who was very friendly and reliable and very supportive. King of Swords, there was a male, either the same one as the one I just said about the King of Pentacles, um, or this is someone else that is very honest, that seeks the truth in the whereabouts of Laverda and is involved in the law as well to bring in some clarity to the case and for her family. The Magician, there is a powerful male who had some type of control that had been either very spiritual, like doing uh, rituals, or was involved in conjuring, uh, black magic, that was very determined to manifest something to happen. The Knight of Cups, there was a male who approached Laverda and who was very religious. Um, he was a very much of a gentleman that may have chatted Laverda up and he was very seductive. Um, he was very unpredictable as well and he was a very much of a ladies man and he may have had a drink at the time of the disappearance of Laverda to make him come across um, and approach Laverda. Reverse High Priestess, there is some hidden secrets that is to have come out in the open and there was a lot of frustration and a lot of impatience. Two of Cups, there was a get together for some peace talk to make some truce for peace and contentment and also some type of offer. Reverse Knight of Swords, there was a male who was very out of control, who was very rude, arrogant and gives some meaningless words at the time that was a bully that was very brutal and was trying to look for a fight and an argument. This person was very dangerous. Um, he may have mugged and attacked Laverda at this time. There is a criminal background that this person had as well. And also he, this male may have had some speech problems as well. The Hierophant. So there was a person that was a role model or was a um, very highly traditional person that was involved. Reverse Hermit, so Laverda was an outcast and there was a lot of loneliness and trying to learn to face fears on head on. Reverse Three of Cups, there was competitiveness and a lack of emotion or some growth. 
There was an enemy in disguise and a third party involvement. Reverse chariot. Someone had lost control and they was learning from their mistakes. They maybe had the sense of being stuck in some type of way and they could have been car or travel issues as well that was involved. Reverse like the pentacles. There was a male who was very jealous and possessive and controlling who might have had Nevada sorrows. Um, may have been her ex-partner. There may have been someone also who had some ill health that was involved in this case in some sort of way. Who was involved in Laverda Sorrell's disappearance? We have the reverse justice. So there was someone that was not taking any responsibilities for their actions. The Ten of Swords. So they were very violent. There was a bully that was trying to seek attention that caused an attack and they was her enemy. Eight of Pentacles. They had a bad reputation and they was also a hard working person as well. There was some sort of close inspection that was involved and some attention to detail in what they were doing. Reverse King of Wands. There was a very immature male who was impulsive, reckless, rude, a bully, controlling, aggressive and very vicious. Reverse Death. There was a refusal and being very miserable and there was a traumatic experience that happened causing a lot of grieving and mourning. Reverse Queen of Wands. There was a controlling female who was very unfaithful, deceitful, a gossip, very manipulative and she was unfriendly as well. Where is Laverda Sorrel? Reverse Eight of Cups. There is abandonment and a distorted body image and there is a sense of entrapment and near a body of water. Two of Pentacles. There was a juggling of money or a double life involvement and juggling quite a lot. The Six of Swords. La Verda. So she had travelled and was taken overseas over the border and there was an accomplice that was going to travel. Reverse Emperor, there is a male who doesn't take any responsibility for his actions and he is very unpleasant, irresponsible, did some illegal activities and he was very aggressive and he was corrupt. The Will card, there is an end to any difficulties that Laverda is around and she is around someone that she knows. What is the final outcome to be for Laverda Sorrell's case? Reverse Nine of Wands. There is someone who is a bit standoffish, who wants their own way, that is looking for trouble, and there is a sense of giving up hope. Six of Wands. There is to be a positive, successful outcome and good news that is coming into the case. Okay then, so that is the case of Laverda Sorrel, that is um, what I can research and the tarot card side to it. If you enjoy my videos, please like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if there's any other cases you'd like me to do, please feel free and comment in the comment section below. Until next time, take care.